welcome to Chick Miss Day 22. Happy Wednesday. Finally got ready. I couldn't decide what to wear today. Did change a few times and I think I'm pretty much happy with my outfit, but you know what? I can definitely feel that holiday weight kicking in. Definitely not a good thing, but let me share with you really quickly today's outfit. This is today's outfit of the day. I feel very pink and whitish. That's okay, it is Pink Wednesday. Uh, so I'm just wearing this uh, button down cropped card cardigan with clouds, long sleeve white bodysuit underneath it. Paired it with some white skinny jeans and then the Juicy Couture uh, booties or boots, which I think pairs perfectly with the outfit. And then the bag today is the Kate Spade mini backpack. Um, I'm, I'll try to link it down below if they have it. It has the little pom-pom on it. And then for the earrings, these are the Sunkiss Panay Filipino or Philippine Sun earrings in rose gold. So I really like that. It's very simple for the accessories, but uh, that is today's outfit of the day. And we are heading out the whole day today. So it should be interesting. <laughs> Los Angeles standing in the line for the Funko Pop store. Uh, Darren really wanted to check this place out and I didn't even know that they had this store over here. The thing about this is that you have to wait in line. They only let a certain amount of people can create your own Funko Pop. You, you can design it yourself which is pretty cool. So hopefully we make it because it's a pretty long line. It's about 10.30 right now. The store opens at 11.30. Yeah, it's a pretty long line. But thankfully we're here, fingers crossed, we we're able to get it. It's finally our turn. I think we've been waiting for the past... How long have we been waiting? Two hours. Yeah, two hours. Here we go. Well, I'm gonna sign up. Yeah, I've seen it. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, cute. That's cute. Darren just took a picture with, I think that's Goku. This place is actually pretty big. I was just expecting it to be like a small store. Darren already put our names down so we can create our own Funko. They send you a text message and then you have to get in line. I did not realize that's the MTV astronaut. Sure you guys know this one, Stranger Things. And if you know, you know, that's Elvira all the way at the top. Oh look, it's like all the old school stuff. Look at this Spongebob. That's probably the creepiest looking Spongebob I've seen. Oh, 
This is Darren's favorite person from the office. Darren just pointed this out. This is the only Hello Kitty. Look. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. I have the hoodie for um, the cup of noodles. Hello Kitty. So I guess this is their small uh, Sanrio. Hello Kitty lounge fly machine. It's Peter Kavinsky from To All the Boys. But there's no Laura Jean. So our next stop, we get to go to the Pop Factory and make our own Funko Pop. That's where all the magic happens. They put together your personalized Funko Pop. Darren is making his custom Funko Pop. This was, oh, this or this? No, oh, this. Yeah, yeah, that one. Hold on. Oh, sorry. Let me get, go this way. These are all the options? I think so, yeah. None of these look like my hair. The closest I'm gonna get. Unless I put a hat on. No, but you don't really wear a hat that often. Black shirt. Oh my gosh, that was such a fun experience. But we'll share with you later the Funko Pops we made. They're so cute. Oh my gosh. When you're in line and you can see what other people are creating. Like there was this uh, grandma and uh, her daughter was helping her create her own Funko Pop and it looked just like her. It was so cute. Darren is going to open his... Mm, the Funko Pop advent calendar. And we're also going to give you our thoughts on uh, the Funko Pop store. The whole experience. Should I do mine first? Okay. Yeah, you can go ahead. This one's Creed on Halloween. All right. Nice. So what are your thoughts or any tips for anybody wanting to check out the Funko Pop um, store in Hollywood? I don't know how it is on other dates, but when we went today, uh, we got there two hours before opening and there was already probably like 75 people waiting outside. Um, so, I mean, I don't know if you guys want to get there earlier. When it opened, there was like 200 people behind us still. So, yeah, there was a, it was just a lot of people. You might want to bring like a small lawn chair, maybe like 20 minutes before opening and then put it in your car. You go back and put it in your car. But like, uh, I didn't think there'd be that many people. So, yeah, I wish we kind of brought a lawn chair. Yeah, but right. I mean, the whole experience was really cool. Yeah, it was cool. Are you going to show yours now? Yeah, Darren ended up making one. This is the one I made with the help of Darren. Maybe, can I take it out? Yeah. Yeah, it was really cool because uh, you can customize it. Although their choices... Uh, In the footage that I saw of the Funko place, there was a lot more choices before COVID. It looked like they stick it on with those dots. Look. What dots? Look like they stick it on with those sticky dots. Oh. I think that's what they used. Well, yeah, here's yours. So this is me holding, of course, you know, you got the vlog camera and a purse and my outfit, of course, is pink. I wouldn't really wear those shoes, but if you chose those color pants, then uh, they already had assigned shoes, which I'm sure before it probably wasn't like yeah, that. No, they had a, uh, they had a lot of different customization, but like now it's very, it's like limited to uh, pants, like, the recolored t-shirts and like very minimal stuff so and this was 25 to me mm -hmm. and then you can even uh, include like a customized or was it like a protective case yeah cover? protective cover over the Funko Pop I know I don't use those though but you could add those if you want and then um you could add like if you have a dog you could add a dog for three dollars so you can also customize the name you can put whatever you want so I had to put Twilight Chick one for three. Free admission, which is pretty cool. Of course, you just have to pay for the uh, Funko Pop. And also, if you want to make a customized uh, Funko Pop, which they no, only. Oh, it comes with some free uh, 
What are these like sticker de decals? Decals. So let me go get my tea and then we can have some tea together and chat a little bit more. All right, you guys, you know what time it is. It's time for us to have tea together. Can't believe we're only gonna be having tea together for just a few more days of Chickmas. Also, the parking in the parking structure below that's underground. I had no idea how pricey it was. I know I've been to that area before, but I just don't remember paying a lot for the parking. Maybe it's because we were there for almost five hours. But we ended up paying 24, that's $24 for parking, and that's with validation from Funko Pop. But anyway, let's go ahead and open the 24 Reasons to Smile T2 Advent Calendar, day 22, right up here. It's lavender. Let's hope it's not lavender tasting. The first look. And it says, smile, breathe, and go slowly. Loose leaf herbal to Zane. And today's tea is called Sleep Tight, which I'm thinking this is going to have uh, maybe chamomile or lavender. I'm thinking it's lavender, but it doesn't smell um, very strong, so I'm hopeful. We had a really great time um, checking out the Funko Pop store in Hollywood and also customizing our own Funko Pops, which we did get one for Jonathan, but uh, we're giving it to him for Christmas. That's the reason why I can't really share it right now. But the funny thing was that Darren and I were only supposed to make a Funko Pop of our own and then we're like, okay, let's make one for for uh, Jonathan, you know, for your dad. His is the one that turned out like, it. it's like spot on him. It looks exactly like him. We could not get over it because his is pretty simple, but like even the accessories, since you guys know he likes to fish. Yeah, it's like spot on, looks like him. After the Funko Pop store, Darren ended up going to two other stores. I think a music store in Koreatown and then another store also located in Koreatown. Then we decided to go eat because at this point we both have not eaten anything at all. So we ended up going to a Korean fried chicken place. It's located in the California market. Um, I think it's the California market shopping center in Koreatown. And we had some Korean fried chicken, which was delicious and we were starving. We had to go back to Best Buy um, a Best Buy on the way home to pick up my mom's gift and then my dad's gift card and then we came home and then now it's raining and it's supposed to be raining tomorrow, Friday, and Saturday. So that unfortunately is the downside because it's gonna be raining for Christmas, but uh, we're really just planning to probably stay home um, the next few days. Let's go ahead and open the XL Marshmallow Advent Calendar Day number 22 down here and the hint are you egg sighted for christmas and oh, this one's really stuck in there let's see what little marshmallow surprise do we have today i want to say it smells like peppermint but it's probably not right Peppermint mocha. I'm gonna lock that in. I'm gonna say it's peppermint mocha. So we have eggnog. Well, peppermint mocha and eggnog are just completely different. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't really taste the eggnog. Sleep tight. A lemon bomb base to sane that is the perfect nighttime brew with a glorious aroma and delicate sweet flavor. Thank you, it's sweet. And the steep time is three to five minutes. We can't smell any floral notes, thankfully. I don't know, it has um. Oh, I don't like this one. It has uh, an aftertaste to it. I don't like the aftertaste. It's like, it reminds me of chlorine. Anyway, chickies, I'm gonna go ahead and end Chickmas day 22 here. Tomorrow, we are just gonna be at home, but we are finally tackling that thing I told you that was on my to 
on my list of to do's because it is much, much needed. So we hope you enjoyed hanging out with us for Chickness Day 22 and enjoyed checking out the Hollywood Funko Pop store. If you enjoyed hanging out with us and enjoyed this vlog, please make sure you give it a like. Subscribe if you have not already. Would love for you to be a part of the Chicky crew. Thank you, Chickies, so much for watching. Stay safe and healthy, and we will see you tomorrow for Chickness Day 23.